start by doing some stretches and I'm here with Tyler who's going to help me demonstrate. So first we just want to start off with, by doing some trunk twists. Start it set. All right. Five, six, seven, head. One, two, three, four. Shoulders. Two, three, four. Chest or lower back. And legs. Two, three, four. And hold it right there. One, two, three, four. Legs. back, three, four, shoulders, two, three, four, and head. doing this to make sure that everybody is taking the same size steps when going forward. So, and this same exercise can be applied to back marching. So, for this, we're just going to start off with one step. And you want to make sure that you're shifting your weight forward when you're stepping to energize the step. Okay? So, I'm just going to count you off and we're going to take that first step.
Okay, so check and adjust. Alrighty. And I think actually, so you're going to be wanting to hit in the very middle of this, so I think your steps are going to be So that'll be the checkpoint that we're going for. Okay. Five, six, seven, push in one, two, three, four. Okay, awesome. And then you would check and adjust to make sure that everybody is also in the same place that you are. And if it's not, then just think about that the next time that you do that rub. Okay? So we're going to put it all together and take eight steps forward. something called T posing, which I'm sure if you say this to anybody, they're going to know immediately what this is. <laughs> We're doing this to make sure that our shoulders and arms are parallel to the sidelines. So when we're turning, we'll make sure that it's actually a 90 degree angle. Because sometimes when you're at uh, your instrument carrying position, it's much easier to cheat sometimes. So that'll get us used to knowing what that feels like for the, the rotation. Okay, so when you're at the T position, the T pose, you want to make sure that the rotation is coming from your hips because if it's not coming from the hips, you're not going to get a good 90 degree angle. That really helps to set up for that good angle. Okay, so I'm going to count you off and we're going to turn to the right. <laughs> We're gonna do that in four counts, so I'll demonstrate first. Okay? Five, six, seven, push in one, two, three, four. So on four, you're there. Okay. All right? Five, six, seven, push in one, two, three, four. So we're going to do the same exact thing, but we're just going to go to the left this time, okay? Alright, five, six, seven, push in one, two, three, four. Okay, that's looking great. So you want to make sure that you're getting the rotation from the hips. The last thing that we're going to be doing is an exercise called snakes. and. This exercise is good because it incorporates forward marching and direction changes as well as slides. Okay, so for this one, we're just gonna go eight steps forward, eight steps to the left, eight steps forward, eight steps to the right, and then eight steps forward again. But the entire time that we're doing this, we're gonna have our body facing forward. So when you're doing the direction changes, you don't turn your body or do anything weird. Just keep it straight. Okay? So do you got that? I will do exactly what you said. Awesome. Okay. So, in this exercise, you can do at slow tempos to work fundamentals and to make the feet look good. You can also do it at quicker tempos to get the feet moving and energized. Okay? So, Tyler is going to do and I'll start with one. Five, six, seven, push in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and we can 
can go ahead and stop there just for a second. So again, I don't, I probably did not explain this, but <laughs> we're gonna take eight, eight steps forward from one yard line to the other yard line, okay? So your steps were just a little bit small, so you were shy of the yard line by about a lot. And then <laughs> when we go left, we're also going to be taking eight steps to the left. So you're going to go from this dot to two dots over, okay? And then so on and so forth. All righty. So we're going to do that one more time. Okay.